using copper water bottles is one of the latest health hacks. Of course, there's some rationale behind that. This video explores the science behind storing water in copper bottles. So let us begin this health sachet. Copper has many benefits for our body and so it is an essential trace mineral. Low copper levels are associated with high blood pressure and high cholesterol. So copper helps in maintaining cardiovascular health. Low copper levels are also associated with a higher risk of fragile bones or osteoporosis. So copper helps in maintaining bone health. Low copper levels lead to lower immunity because white blood cells, which help in fighting infections, need adequate amount of copper for their production. In other words, copper helps in maintaining good immunity. You want healthy skin? Make sure you are not deficient in copper. The production of two important skin structural proteins, collagen and elastin, is stimulated by copper. Copper also helps in wound healing by helping generate new blood vessels. This is true for larger wounds. In smaller wounds, on the other hand, copper helps with its antimicrobial ability. There are many other uses attributed to copper, such as helping in preventing cancer, arthritis and Alzheimer's disease, but we don't have many clinical trials to claim this with much confidence. Now, while all this seems like a strong case for copper water bottles, most of our diets are not really deficient in copper. So as such, there is no need for extra copper intake in some form or the other. A simple multi-mineral tablet will be able to cover all the potential shortfall, if any. Coming back to the copper bottles, the health claims talk about benefits against obesity, Alzheimer's, aging, cancer and inflammation. So there is really no such need for extra copper through the water route. The main benefit that you are likely to get through a copper bottle is that the cell membranes of the bacteria are destroyed when they come in contact with copper ions. Thus, a copper bottle acts as an antimicrobial agent. Of course, different studies say that it takes between 12 to 36 hours for a copper bottle to destroy bacteria in its water. In other words, you cannot rely 100% on this storage method for killing waterborne bacteria. Finally, many copper bottles are lined from inside using a special lacquer to prevent patina, the green coating, from developing inside the bottle. In such a bottle, there is almost no chance any bacteria will come in contact with the copper anyway. All in all, use a copper bottle for storing water if you want. But don't really get too hyper about using it for its health benefits. And using copper vessels in which water is held just for a few minutes, such as a copper mug, well, <laughs> it is a fashion statement, not a health statement. I hope this information was useful to you. If you like it, please forward the link to this video to others and click on the like button below. You can subscribe to this channel by clicking in the circle in the middle. And click in the box on the left to see more videos on this subject. Remember, ignorance is a bad idea when it comes to staying healthy. Thank you.